Catherine, really? could you tell us when segregation is going to end in, in Victoria? But I wanted to kick off, actually, and get a bit of a scene center from Mr. Gates, because this is, I know, a topic that you've spoken on again and again. You were ahead of the curve prior to the beginning of this pandemic. Where would you assess where we are today in beating COVID-19? Well, the, uh, you know, sadly, the virus itself, particularly the, the variant called Omicron, uh, is a type of vaccine. That is, it creates both B cell and T cell immunity. And it's done a better job of getting out to the world population uh, than we have with vaccines. The chance of severe disease, which is mainly associated with being elderly and uh, having obesity or diabetes, those risks are now dramatically reduced because of that uh, infection exposure. And, you know, it's sad. We didn't do a great job on therapeutics. You know. Hi, Meg. It's Bridget calling from Hepburn Shire Council, just returning your call in relation to International Women's Day. Um, as this is classified as an event, um, you do need to show proof of vaccination. So here we are outside the Dalesford Town Hall on unceded Jarrah country. Today is International Women's Day and every year on this day, March the 8th or thereabouts uh, in the calendar, Hepburn Shire Council has an event to celebrate International Women's Day and to add local women's names to the Heather Mutimer's uh, honour roll. And Heather Mutimer is a previous mayor. Um, and I've been on the organising committee for several years and every year my family comes uh, to celebrate here at the Town Hall and this year uh, they've decided that they are going to um, discriminate against people who have decided not to take uh, a COVID vaccine. And yeah, we have a whole bunch of people here, particularly women, but families and kids. <coughs> because we feel that it's really important to make our presence known that because we're not allowed inside the town hall, uh, we're still here, we still exist, we're still important and particularly our foremothers have fought for equality and that still is an issue in today's society, 2022. So here we are, we're going to make some noise, we're going to have a peaceful protest and we are doing this uh, against tyranny and we are doing this for um, the future generations as our foremothers did for us. So people who are not vaccinated are not allowed inside the town hall for the I'm international... Oh, oh, oh. I'd love to hear your reasoning. <laughs> Just to keep us all safe. We've so, got somebody in our family who wasn't vaccinated yep. and his wife got seriously ill. Yep. And we've and got people in our family who were vaccinated who got seriously ill. Yeah. So Omicron and Delta don't discriminate against people who are vaccinated. Everybody can get it and everybody yeah, can pass it on. Um, they can't all die from it. You know, they've had not, you know, they've got other, I think, um, I think it's been a great, I'm yeah. happy I'm being vaccinated. Yeah. I think you've got your choices. But we don't actually because we can't work. The government have taken our choice to work. I still can't hear you, sorry. We cannot actually work. Yes. So we haven't got choice. We've only got the choice to protect our body. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I am too. Me too. I am too. That's great. Yeah, we should all be able to choose our own medicine. It'd be good if they, you know, had a policy that was consistent and sort of inclusive, you know, to deal mm. with it. Because they, you know, in fairness to them, they are, they are dealing with these state government regulations. So I'm on the International Women's Day honour roll, and I became an inductee in 2013. And so over many years, there've been many inductees. There's another inductee here too who is also not allowed in and we feel that is very poor form so there's plenty of discretion in there for them to drop that there's plenty of discretion for them to be um, able to hold an outdoor event um, I did go in and the CEO was called and the CEO said this is state government regulation and that's why you are not allowed in 
I don't have any problem with you being vaccinated or not. We are just following regulations. The science does not back up any of this discrimination. Also because we feel the, we are the unclean, the unwelcome, the unwanted, the unrespected. And many people are unaware of what it feels like to be discriminated against. There are lots of way to be, ways to be discriminated against, and this is one. Hey Catherine, could you tell us when segregation is going to end in, in Victoria? Oh, thanks. Cheers. It was nice to catch up with a whole lot of women <laughs> holding signs and having tears and, and just having a chat with them. Um, yeah, for me it was also weird, just the lack of eye contact and the lack of acknowledgement from people in our community, families going in, seeing us and just walking past, avoiding eye contact. And there was a federal MP there, uh, Catherine King, who's a federal member who's in Ballarat. And yeah, just... I, you know, I will not be voting for her and I'm going to ring her office and email her tomorrow to let her know why and just the discrimination is unnecessary. I was surprised that no one joined us outside, yeah. like, oh, aren't you an ally? Aren't you a, yeah. a friend? And just that sense of, I don't want to see you, I don't want to know you in this moment and how different it would have been if even just a few people came and stood with us yeah. in solidarity. Do you think it might be though, because they come for an event to honor women on a particular day and they haven't really understood or have any idea about this, um, obviously this fringe group in the, in the, in the, in the community, the, the media has portrayed us as absolute demons and devils and considering how propagandist the media has been it's kind of um like you can't blame them yeah you can't blame them for just walking past us and thinking they're going to catch something from us is that mm. what you're saying yeah I, I i mean just to have a little bit of empathy there there has not i, I said to the mayor tim dryly i said there has not been a single story that has represented mm. those of us who have chosen to be unvaccinated in the media for the past 12 months yeah. since the jab started coming into Australia. There has not a single story. And he, he nodded saying that's, that's true. So when our voices are completely taken away and removed yeah. and no one has a reference point for our stories, yeah. It is so easy to demonise. And we know from our own experience, just being deplatformed from social media, shadow banned on YouTube, you know, we know we know what, that it's happening, that it's real. But they don't want to hear our voices and it's happening for a reason that our voices aren't, aren't in the media. But also it's International Women's Day. And wasn't there a time in history where women weren't allowed yes. to be in certain workplaces yes. that were standing outside together saying, let us in? Yes. And it's just a little bit eerie that this is happening on this day. Well, this is why we, we wanted to have the peaceful protest outside on this day. This is exactly why, because I mean, it's just too significant. It's about too, it's not about the event, but it's just about the hypocrisy of it. Because we can't, we can't be inside the tent, so we'll just be outside the tent and we'll celebrate our voices that we can have.